In this section, we will deal with statistical plot. In this lecture, we will start with box and bar charts. So I have attached this file to the resources in this lecture, which is statistical. So please be sure to import this into origin so you can follow along. So when you come to plot and you come to statistical, there are so many plots in here and we want to start with box and then bar chart. So let's start with box. So you select a column. Let's say we select just five columns and come to plot, come to statistical and go to box chart. So it gives you this nice tool here. And mind you, it doesn't really care what the axis you choose. It just plots every column at one side. So it plots column A, column B in here for you. Yeah, so this is how box plot looks like and it's very basic but you can do so many customization let me just pull up one that i did for myself so i just did this customization for myself so this is the least you should be able to do i know you can do better than i'm doing now if you want to edit the graph you can just start by what we've already done you can double click this and change all the shapes all the layers if you want you can also delete you can also delete so just select and go to delete and you can now just add any text if you want so maybe you want to type this as kill kill called uh, something else so you can also do that and label your axis if you want so we already know how to customize this graph but the most important part is how to customize these box plot and it's just the same if you double click you can once again all of these they are dependent so you can edit them together or you can also edit them independently and you're good to go so for independent let's say if you select this one now you are editing the first one if you select this one you are editing the next one so you can do that and the editing is quite the same as we've done you can change the border colors you can we can change the style you can change the width you can add fill colors, add patterns to them. So there are so many things that can be done here. And it just updates your region for you. You can add a gradient fill, you know. You can also adjust the spacing between them. You can, let's go to box. This is the most important tab where when you come here you can so now you have a box remember you also have a preview so you can choose data and it shows you what it will be like you can also choose data plus overlap so your data is distributed this way you can also show this so whatever that you choose you can see a preview of how it will look like and that is why origin is so unique when it comes to data visualization so whatever your presentation need is or your visualization needs are you can come in here and choose whatever that you want you can also come here and change some of these if if you desire to change it to diamond instead of a box plot and you can also go with this so it's it's quite interesting what origin allows you to do come in and and change you can play with all these these things and you also have the whiskers you can change it from 
think it's now outlier so you can change it to let's say standard deviation and it changes so it changes the whisker to mean plus 1.5 sd you can also change let's say to minimum and maximum so it just gives you a minimum and a maximum so all these can be done here you can also add labels if you if you desire you can add labels and move them around as you want and you can also do distributions so let's say for your box plot you want to add a normal distribution it shows you the distribution you can have an exponential distribution if you want to you can also have all these Lorenz Poisson and yeah so whatever that you need origin kind of gives you the ability to to do that and you can also edit them how they look if you want to change that particular color to red yeah there you go that's 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 what it does and you can also edit your whiskers so that is this you can maybe change that color to let's say yellow and you can change the mean line it's blue now maybe you want to change your mean line to uh, let's try this then you change your mean line so all these things can be done here you can also connect lines so let's say if you want to connect lines with the mean you just hit apply and it connects all the mean together you can connect to median and you can even connect to percentiles so you can specify what percentile that you want you can also edit your outliers and the auto shape is this diamond but you can change it to whatever that you want yeah you can change it to whatever that you want you can also add colors to them let's say let's just choose this yeah, we're not seeing it unless we come to let's just choose data and now you can see you can see them yeah once you choose data okay so when you choose data to some of these things change around and you can also change this to bin bars and all and all that so let's say data let's let's do this instead um let's do get let's do this one and now you have your box and you can also have your data side where you can so the data side is this and then you have your box so that was what we chose we chose box on the right and data on the left and you have it here so all these things can be modified here change the percentile and all okay so that is it for box plot and the next will be the bar chart so come to plot and then basic 2d and then no, sorry to statistical and okay let's do interval plot and there you go so this can also be edited you can edit them the same way independently dependently add patterns if you want come back to box so now you're seeing this and this is the cool thing you can just change all of these in here without so you can change it back to box if bar if you want you can change it to data you can change it to whatever that you need can be changed in here as well so that is what i wanted to show that if you come back to plot and you come to statistical you see bar chart you see overlap normal distribution half box half overlap and all these when you come to your plot 
and you come to bar the type you can find all of them here so you can just start with one of them and choose and you see a preview of how your data will be visualized so and then just edit them from there so if this is what you want it can be changed and there you go and all these things can be edited you can edit the data and all of that so that will be it for box and bar chat see you in the next